We're elders Robert and Tracy Carr from Empowering Word Christian Center. And we're coming to you from Zero Gravity Team Bounce Back, ages 12 to 17. Amen. And tonight's topic, we're going to be talking about staying connected to God. And we're going to be coming from uh, the book of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 10. But I want to read it from the message translation. Amen. Amen. It says, I am the real vine and my father is the farmer. He cuts off every branch of me that doesn't bear grapes. And every branch that is grape bearing, he prunes back so that... So it will bear even more. You are already pruned back by the message I have spoken. Live in me, make your home in me, just as I do in you. In the same way that a branch can't bear grapes by itself, but only by joining to the vine. You can't bear fruit unless you are joined with me. I am the vine you are the branches. When you're joined with me and I with you, the relation intimate and organic, the harvest is sure to be abundant. Separate, separated, you can't produce a thing. Anyone who separates from me is dead wood, gathered up and thrown on the bonfire. But if you make yourselves at home with me and my word are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. This is how my father shows who he is when you're when you produce grapes, when you mature as a disciple. <clears throat> I've loved you the way my father has loved me. Make yourself at home in my love. If you keep my commands, you'll remain intimately at home in my love. That's what I've done. Kept my father's commands and made myself at home in his love. Amen. Amen. That's a um, uh, um, a very touching uh, passage of scripture. And it's saying that God is the farmer. So that means, and when I look at that, it's like a farmer plants and he waits for the harvest. So it says when the harvest comes, it it bears fruit. And if it doesn't bear fruit, he cut it off. And he throws it in the fire because it's like dead wood. But if it's bearing fruit, that means he prunes it, he cultivates it, he takes care of it. So it can bear more fruit. Mm -hmm. So the point of this passage of scripture is saying in order to bear good fruit or to bear fruit, you have to stay connected to God. Stay connected to God in prayer. Stay connected to God in fasting. Stay connected to God at work, Mm -hmm. uh, at school, uh, at the shopping mall, hanging with your friends, always stay connected with God. Mm-hmm. And I seen a tree one time and <clears throat> half the tree had uh, leaves on it. Mm-hmm. And then one half of the tree was dead. Mm-hmm. And it was like, what's the purpose of the dead tree? It's like the dead tree tries to suck the life out of out of mm-hmm. the tree that's yeah. trying to stay yes. alive. Yes, absolutely. So that's why he say he has to cut it off because mm-hmm. if it's dead and if it's not connected to God, it will try to zap or sap the mm-hmm. your energy mm-hmm. that uh uh, that that you have for God, yes, Amen. It will. Yes, it will. Amen. Amen. And um, as you were saying, some of the things that um, being staying connected, mm-hmm. we know that in order to stay connected and do those things, we have to be intentional. Exactly. We have to be intentional. Sometimes we may not feel like praying. We may not feel like doing mm-hmm. the right thing. We may not. But it's intentional. It's a choice that you have to make. Amen. And as he said, if we're connected to the vine, we go bear some fruit. Amen. 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 And I like what it says. He said uh, <clears throat> that you can be intimate with him. Mm-hmm. 
That means you can tell God or he knows your intimate, most deepest thoughts, mm -hmm. stuff that you don't want to share with nobody else. He already knows because you're connected to him. Right. right. And I like how pastor said uh, yesterday in church, mm -hmm. he said that uh, people disconnect from uh, babies mm -hmm. when they're born because they just come straight from heaven. And, oh, when and, and, and right. right when you're not living right, they disconnect because of being um, they, they come straight from heaven. So darkness doesn't want to be around lightness. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you'll have people that don't want to be around you because you walking in the light because you're right. walking in connection right. with right. God. So, but don't, 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 don't feel bad and don't have low self-esteem because there's a remnant of friends that God has for you. And when you start bearing fruit, then you'll see the friends. And as, as with them, when they bear fruit, they'll find that you can be a friend. You know what I'm saying? So it all works hand in hand. Amen. Amen. And, and, and in that being connected also, I, I think about a chain. Mm-hmm. And what's that saying? Um, you're only as weak. As, you're only as weak as the weakest link. Yeah, you're something. only as strong, strong as, as the, the weakest, weakest link. link. Yeah. But I was envisioning a chain, mm -hmm. or even a necklace or something. You know, if you're making a necklace or you got a necklace on, and 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 if one of those links get loose, uh -huh. what happens? The it gets break. it breaks yep. or get weak. Yeah. yeah. So so it's so key to stay connected to God because, you know, as if if each each um, link is missing, the, right. the, the weaker it gets. And yep. the weaker it gets, and before you know it, you backslid. So that's why it's so, so important. Even in this time of season with um, this being Holy Week, mm -hmm. it's very important to just um, reflect back on why Jesus went to the cross. Right. What, 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 what was, what did he sacrifice on the cross for me? Amen. Amen. And I was thinking even, um, Today in prayer, I was just praying some things, and I said, Lord, I just thank and praise you for sending your son, Jesus, for me even to ask you for this, to mm -hmm. be able to ask, you know, if you're asking for forgiveness or yeah. whatever, you... You know, for for healing, mm -hmm. it, he did all that on the cross. Yes, yes. And so, you know, you wanna you wanna be thankful and just reflect back on it this during this week and and what this means and just stay connected to God. And no matter what anyone says, you know if you're connected with Amen. God. Don't go Amen. by what somebody might say this or say that or. You may not be doing this that way. You stay connected and Amen. you have your relationship with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because it says that uh, the Father, he will show you who he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And being intimate, then he will guide you and, and teach you mm -hmm. and show you things mm -hmm. about yourself that you didn't even know mm -hmm. or the... Uh, possibilities that that you had or the gifts that you had down yeah. on the inside yeah. of you yeah and I just was like man like you said this morning with Holy Week and, yeah. and in prayer it was just so yeah. um yeah. so refreshing yeah. to be yeah. in the presence of God because when you're intimate and you're connected to the vine you 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 uh you you get the um be in a place with God that you're vulnerable. Yeah, and then most people can't get to to a place that you're yeah. at because yeah. they want what you got, but they don't want to do what you do to stay there or to uh, to stay connected. Amen. 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 So we're elders Robert and Tracy Carr. We just came to encourage you today to just stay connected to God. Amen. He'll if you abide in Him, He'll abide in you. Amen. 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 Gracious Father, we thank you for this time of sharing. Lord, we thank you for this Holy Week, God. We thank you, God, that for the fast and for the sacrifices that were, were, were uh, given unto you, God. Yes, God. God, strengthen our bodies, strengthen our minds, heal our bodies, heal our minds, yes, heal God. our hearts, God. Yes, Whatever God. this week that uh, we're petitioning you for, God, yes, God. You, we already know that you're going to do it because you are our Father, God. Yes, and we thank you thank in you, advance, Lord. God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus amen. Name, amen. Amen. Bye.